Hi there, it's Jane here from Love Your Lens. Um, I am going to talk you through um, the assignment that we did uh, way back in May, um, I'm afraid, which was leading lines. Um, apologies for uh, the delay in getting back to you on this. I've been out to France twice, uh, been very busy, um, but here we are and I'm going to do two back to back and do the what is this straight afterwards as well um, as a separate recording. So thank you for all of the submissions for um, leading lines. Um, as you can see here from my final selection, um, we've got a great set of images and I'm going to talk you through um, all of them and um, what works, what potentially could have been improved um, and then pick a favourite out at the end. And uh, so without further ado, let's uh, progress through. If we have any technical hitches today, I'm going to blame the heat because um, it is uh, particularly warm, isn't it? So we've got our first technical hitch already where the image isn't moving through. There we go. Now, I've picked out a couple of images here where um, actually they're an, not an example of leading lines. I think there was a little bit of confusion amongst um, some people as to what constituted leading lines. Um, and uh, leading lines you can define really as... Um, lines within the image, straight or curved, that lead the viewer's eye through the image and they're leading you either to um, a focal point or it's absolutely fine for them to lead to infinity as well. Um, those leading lines can also be used to add some depth and interest but what they aren't is a series of lines that are just repeating patterns that don't make your eye go somewhere um, so although this is a you know um, a nice shot um, of trees in a forest with um, lovely vivid colors it isn't an example of leading lines and neither is this really, um, this is Barons Key in Northwich and there are a lot of lines in there but they're not really leading us anywhere. I mean it's a nice abstract composition um, but again um, more an example of repeating patterns rather than leading lines. So if we come on to our first leading line shot, which is by Helen Anderson, um, I really like the idea of this. And obviously it's a really tricky shot to get. And I would imagine Helen is using her um, uh, uh, mobile phone to capture it. So hence the uh, poor quality. But um, a cracking shot from um, high up <coughs> um, over uh, the runway, over cities, um, showing leading lines. So uh, I really, really like the concept of that. And then we've got this shot by Pete Sestick. Uh, we've got some strong horizontal lines here, um, but we've also got the leading lines created by the uh, flower pots going up the centre. Um, it's a nice, um, simple, um, simple composition, um, quite striking because of the sort of the, the, the muted colours of the steps and everything, and then the very vivid colours of the terracotta pots. Um, I would say just watch um, that you're straight, and also I would have cropped out these handles so if we first of all we just do a little straighten on this tiny bit it's more um i mean these steps aren't straight but it's a very tiny adjustment like that and then also please excuse my dog's back and hopefully they'll stop in a moment and then um, i'm going to just do a free crop just to make it quicker um, but then if you do a crop oops like this just to crop out those um handles i think you'll agree um hopefully that it's now a stronger shot and that also is now obeying the rule of uh, fill the frame which is really nice too okie dokie so thanks for that Pete and I hope um, what I've done to that image is uh, helpful as well for you then this shot by uh, David Riley, um, I really like this actually, this, this is a leading line but it's, it, it's the reverse in the way, it's showing where you've come from um, and um, again clever idea um, and um, nice colours and um, a good travel shot really, gosh my dogs are going bizarre, bizarre. just hold on one second for me, in fact I'll pause the recording, just hang on a second. Okay, I'm back with you now, crazy animals. Right, so this shot of David's, um, really like it, love the colours, um, and I would have just cropped off that slightly, but I understand David's just stayed within the normal picture ratio, so um, perhaps didn't want to make that a long, thin shot. But nice capture, David. And then we have... Uh, this shot by Vicky, um, this one um, got quite a lot of likes and I can understand why. It's very atmospheric, um, tells a story um, and we've got some really strong leading lines in it. So um, yeah, and we've got leading lines here, we've got leading lines here. Um, so uh, nicely done, Vicky. 
Okay, then we've got this one by Ian, um, and um, I really like this. Um, this does lead your eye. It leads to your eye. You go from the bottom here, and you lead right off towards the top there. Um, and um, it's very simple. It's black and white. The simplicity suits it. And um, yeah, good shot, Ian. Then this one, Catherine Hall, I really like this because a lot of people do think of leading lines as being straight um, and they don't have to be. Our eyes are led through the image and up to these, up to the horizon with these trees at the top. Um, the colour palette's nice and simple, the light is nice and um, we've even got a few bunny rabbits over here which I've only just spotted. So um, good, good use of leading lines there, Kath, a bit um, imaginative. Okay, then this one by Rayfun, which I really like. Now, when I first looked at this, um, I was going to say, oh, hang on a minute, that's repeating patterns, but it isn't really. The more I look at it, it, it really ticks the um, boxes for adding depth and interest to the image as well. So we've got your eye goes from this left-hand corner, bottom corner, up to the top right-hand corner, and that's um, a really... Um, a good rule of composition, especially for us in the uh, in in the Western world, if you like, where we read from left to right. And it's interesting because in countries where they read from right to left, they might find this image a bit discomforting um, on the eye. OK, then another shot by Ian. Um, again, um, really nice use of um, curving leading lines. Um, again, we go from the bottom here and we're led off out of the picture there. Um, this is a distraction and could be um, edited out, um, but otherwise, um, yeah, and the quality doesn't look that great, actually. I'm not sure if that's to do with resolution. Um, so maybe a little tiny bit of editing, punch up the contrast a tiny bit, get rid of that. Um, but otherwise, nice use of filling the frame um, and, of course, the leading lines. Very simple. I think quite often it's, uh, it's the simple images that work uh, the best because you know exactly what you're supposed to be looking at and uh, can be very striking. Okay, and then this is um, Emma Hayes. Um, I think, again, this was with a phone, but um, it's done a fantastic job, and she's absolutely spot on, oops, with her leading lines here. Um, and I like the fact that, you know, that there's so much contrast and gorgeous light here, um, very strong patterns in the ploughing. I mean, it looks immaculate, doesn't it? And then um, it's leading to the back, oh, I told you I'd have some technical problems, leading to the uh, background here, um, which is great because you've got the interest of some other hot air balloons, which is um, where Emma's taking that shot from. Nice job. Okay, really like this one, um, Sarah Thompson. Um, I love the... Um, the way that you've got all this lovely foreground interest, um, then you've got your focal point, which is the tree, and then your backdrop is, is nice as well. Um, and then you've got this leading line taking you straight towards the tree. So again, very simple image, but really nicely caught. Um, great colours, lovely texture, texture interest in this foreground. It's unusual, it grabs your interest. Um, it, 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 it's an attractive image to look at, and that's what we're looking for. Okay, then we have um, a typical uh, grunge image uh, from Simon. Um, back street, litter, um, graffiti, mould. It's got nothing going for it really, has it, this alleyway. You wouldn't want to be walking down there at night. But Simon's really captured the atmosphere of it. Um, and he's um, used strong leading lines to draw your attention. And funnily enough, that ends up being a focal point, And I'm sure it's a, um, something like a wheelie bin or something. And aren't wheelie bins the scourge of... Uh, the scourge of the, the modern um, urban town um, with not enough space to put them and horrible gary colours. So well done for that, Simon. Then this one by Megan James. Now, um, I think this image is really interesting, actually. Um, she's got this strong leading line, this path here. And had we just had plain green grass, this fairly, you know, not that attractive path, um, I think this could have been, um, you know, too much, too much plain stuff going on here. But because we've got these lovely long shadows because of the light, they're also creating somewhat of a leading line um, towards the backdrop. And this is a great landscape shot because we've got foreground interest, we've got middle ground interest, and we've got great background as well in that dramatic sky. Um, so the light is beautiful. Um, we've got leading lines, um, and we've got we've got all the all the makings of a great landscape shot. And I suppose our focal point really is you kind to tend to dwell around this area here. So lovely shot there, Megan. 
And then finally, onto my favourite shot um, for this uh, this challenge, and this is from Paula. Um, absolutely beautifully done. Um, again, the simplicity of it, um, this strong repeating pattern within this leading line. Um, nice use of a rule of thirds in the background, but then she's slightly broken it in the third foreground, but it works. Um, I think she's probably got fairly low down to take this shot as well, and then all of this kind of spray and mist and everything that she's achieved. I love the colour palette, these kind of muted recessive colours in the background and then the strong dominant colour of these darks for the main focal point in the shot. So great job there Paula and um, thank you very much. I, I hope you've all um, enjoyed that critique and found it useful and um, I'll be posting again shortly with the uh, comments for uh, what is this and um, I shall speak to you soon. Thank you.